Hi, I'm Anna Mills. I just want to show you um, a AI, an AI research tool called illicit.org. Um, and this is a way that I have introduced um, ways to use AI tools and critique them at the same time um, in my writing classes and community colleges. So, so this is the illicit, really simple interface. This is a tool for finding um, research papers on a particular topic. And it's nice because it's not dependent on keywords, but it's going to find related um, topics according to the meaning. And so I put in, do vaccines cause autism? Notice that if I click on that question, it's going to give me um, some alternate questions, um, different ways to phrase a question about the causal relationship um, and ways to broaden the question, etc. cetera. Um, but if I just stick with do vaccines cause autism, um, I get these, um, these papers come up. Um, and feature that students love is the abstract summary. So there's a one sentence summary that's generated by AI. Um, I believe Elicit uses GPT-3 from OpenAI um, underneath the hood. Um, so it's generating a summary. And what I do with students is I show them, I first show them how some of these summaries are not accurate and how you have to read the abstract and then look at the summary and see, did they miss something crucial here? Um, and you'll see there are some inaccuracies in these summaries um, that are pretty easy to, to notice. Um, so hopefully that's empowering to students to build their own sense of their own critical thinking and their purpose in asking the research question and examining the titles and the abstract. Um, so let's look at an example of that. So this first one is vaccines are not associated with autism an evidence-based meta-analysis of case control and cohort studies. That's the title. Now the summary just says vaccines are not associated with the development of autism or autism spectrum disorder. Um, so right from the title, we can see that that's limited, that it's missed this key point that this is a meta-analysis, that this is based on a wide range of studies, right? That this is not just an opinion. Um, so where is that? Um, claim coming from. Um, we can look further at the abstract, which details how many studies and what kinds of studies were examined in this meta-analysis. Um, but I think we can sh pretty clearly show students that, you know, the AI summary missed a, a key part of the point here. So, um, um, sorry about the little delay here. Um, so let's look at the second paper. This one is just titled, Do Vaccines Cause Autism? And this is a really egregious error. So the abstract summary says, the MMR vaccine also prevents rubella disease, thus preventing congenital rubella syndrome and its associated cases of autism. So that sounds like a particular vaccine prevents a particular cause of autism. Um, and I want to be suspicious and students, you know, we can tell them to be suspicious because this summary doesn't answer the question directly that's asked in the title of the paper. So let's look at the abstract and see what was that paper really arguing? Um, well, the first line of the abstract is vaccines do not cause autism. So very important that that's got to be in the summary, right? Um, and it goes on to say that um, it concluded that a body of evidence favors rejection of a causal relationship. Um, and then this last point about MMR vaccine maybe preventing a cause of autism is sort of an additional point that's added into the abstract. It's not the central takeaway. So, um, so again, this AI summary missed something very important, um, which is that this study is looking at a body of evidence and finding that the answer is no, vaccines do not cause autism. Um, so um, this third study, the summary is even worse because um, it suggests that certain vaccines are associated with autism. So that's 
surprising. So I'm going, oh, did this study actually find the opposite of, the, of what the other ones found? Um, but if we look at the abstract, which fortunately comes up in Elicit as well, um, we find that um, it doesn't say that. It says this eighth report examines the hypothesis that vaccines are associated with autism. So it doesn't make that claim that they are associated. Um, so right away, that's, that's quite a, a dangerous misrepresentation of this abstract. Now, um, it's nice that Elicit shows us citations, critiques of this particular paper. Um, let's see if it actually gives us the PDF though. Um, This one does not have the PDF, many of them do. So we can't go in and see if later beyond the abstract there is some argument that there's an association. But right away, this one sentence version is not the key. So we can use this as a way to help students develop their summary skills by improving on and correcting what the AI has generated here for each of these research papers. And they're interacting with these academic papers um, but they're able to do so fairly quickly by just dealing with the abstracts and testing those against the AI summaries. Um, so I think that students will still like the ease of searching on Elicit for papers and they still will find it useful um, in their research process. It's more intuitive than, than most library database search systems. Um, and hopefully this activity will give them some healthy skepticism of AI generated output um, and some more confidence in their own kind of ability to summarize and uh, critically evaluate the purpose of a research paper from its abstract. So, thank you.